five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh look you in again! Oh, Presenter extraordinaire Emma Jones. Hello, Emma, on the big screen. How are you doing? Boys, that is the best introduction I've ever had in my life. Thank you so much. I love the it. longest five seconds there's ever been. I know, yeah. I know. Sorry about that. How are you doing, Emma? I'm good, kids, lads. How are you? Yeah, we're good. We're all right. We're not too bad. We're in the cinema. When was the last time you've been in the cinema? Oh, my God. Pre lockdown. Really? I really? Went to a pre lockdown. And it's one of those things, right? You don't realise you miss it till it's gone. Mm -hmm. We took it for granted, didn't we, lads? Mm, Oh, we really did. I I think I took for granted when the lights go down because you don't have to get that in your own house. Do you know where you, well, you're eating? What do you mean? Why are you well, laughing yeah, at me? It could be weird if, you're, if, if someone remotely put the lights down yeah, when you're trying to watch it. the film. Do you know Emma, when the lights go down, that's a good moment. Do you not think? Why are they laughing at me, Emma? Back me up here, please. <laughs> yeah, just... Because I've just got visions of you like setting the ambience at home. To try <laughs> me <and> too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like he turns the lights off in the bedroom and the THX sound comes on like... <laughs> oh, oh, what's up in there? No. <laughs> have, you, have you watched the trailers before we go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all good. Um, so... Emma, before we get into uh, building your ultimate sort of dream night at the movies, um, I, have you always been into movies? Are you a big film lover, generally? Um, I do like them at the time, but I have a tendency, right, to forget films once I've watched them. and I have to watch a film like 15 times for it to stick in my head. 15? <laughs> like, anyway, which means that the films I love, I really love, because it's like a lot of investment, that, in it, to watch it 10, 15 times. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. what was the first movie you remember watching at the cinema? Matilda. What's it? Oh, it's a good one, that. It's a good film to get going. Oh, my God. It was the greatest thing ever. Do you understand how many years I spent trying to make glasses tip over? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, but do you know how many years I spent trying to eat a full chocolate cake without anyone knowing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going. I'm still going. I thought you were going to say, you don't know how many years I spent looking at light switches trying to make them turn no. off with your mind. Like, you never know what you've got till it's gone. It works in the cinema, this. Yeah. You could have had your ambience then, mate. If you had the Matilda powers, you'd have been all right. I would have been loving it. <laughs> so that's a good one first for yeah, movie, isn't it? It's Matilda. always good. Great movie. You tell me that Matilda didn't have everything. It was incredible. And also, do you know what it introduced me to? American food. Do you remember the, um, the, the what she used to eat? The mom, the like marshmallows or whatever Ooh, it was. Oh, yeah, cake. yeah. The yeah. way she ripped it off made it look so appetising. Yeah, and then they used to eat, um, it was like chocolate spread or something with like jam on toast. And when she made those pancakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they were like... I was like, you're about five. How have you made a world class That's true. Like, I know she's magic, but she can't just magic up uh, I've never the thought recipe. about it yeah, And also, her parents were well harsh on her, so they're not spending time baking at home with her, were they? Do you know what I mean? They ate her. Her parents probably ate her because they spent so much on dentist bills. Yeah, yeah I know. They, they, Matilda, the, the poor get, she's <laughs> diabetes waiting to happen. Oh, I love it. Well, great film. Oh, everyone picks good films as their first yeah, film, doesn't I think it? everyone's generally, the first film they go and see is always a good one. Yeah. Always. Uh, which brings on to our first question, Emma, which is uh, all about the first movie you'd like to sort of experience all over again for the first time. Maybe it's a film that proper, you know, wowed you, made you really, really go, wow, this is unbelievable. And to get that feeling again, what what movie are you picking? I mean, I would go Matilda, but the other one, boy, <laughs> you might not be able to relate to is Spice World. Spice World. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love that film. Oh, my God. That changed my life. I swear to God, I went in to watch that film, A Girl, and came out a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trailer sorted for our, for this episode, isn't it? So what year What year? Spice World? 99? 97. 97. 97. 97. Right, okay. So tell me about it. Do you have a favourite Spice Girl or... And did it change, like, when you watched the film? Yeah, so uh, 1997, seven-year-old Emma, I was all about, at the time, um, Emma Bunton. Yeah. I had, like, the pigtails, I wa- the, the platforms, do you remember the white, chunky platforms yep. that everyone used to wear? Still wish they were in fashion now, I really liked them. Bring them back. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm a trendsetter, am I, lads? Let's be honest. Adam um, will do it then. <laughs> <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> But after watching that film, Jerry, oh, she was the one, wasn't mm. she? You know, everything that she stood for, every, the, the sass that oozed out of her, 
I was like, I when I grow up, I want to be her. Yeah. She represented gingers. She put gingers on the map. <laughs> she everywhere. really did. Can I say why this is quite uh, weird? Because Becky, my girlfriend, was watching Spice World last night for inspiration because she's going as Jerry Halliwell on time recording Halloween's on its way. She's going as Jerry as part of a five for Halloween. It's not really scary, is it? I, I, so I, I was also, watching it last night, Emma. But I also love the fact, Joe, that, that I don't know anyone who has to get into character, like method acting. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So they've watched it for inspiration. So I've got to make sure the cherry performance is spot on. It's so weird. I don't know why she was doing why is it. That? I don't know. Like going, really no, don't she's going to Halloween party and going, the cherry, you've got the outfit, but the performance could have been better. Yeah, like, no one's saying that, are they? Like, what? Oh, that's good. Yeah, so that's why I watched it, Emma. Uh, so do you have, uh, I mean, it just shows, Emma, the, the, the power of the Spice Girls. Not many other, f- like, bands have a film about them, do they? If you hadn't have told me that Spice World was a Spice Girls thing, I'd have thought it was an Ainsley Harriet biopic. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, well, I wonder what that's about. Is it on the co- is it on the cooking channel? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would make great viewing. I would oh, love that. I'd yeah. watch that. Yeah, yeah, I'd watch it. He's just wandering into old ladies' houses with frying pans. Like, <laughs> Hello, Hello are, you, are you Jill? <laughs> <laughs> no? Oh, <laughs> do you not like a pan? <laughs> Does it stand the test of time, Spice World? Have you seen it recently? Do you like it still? I've watched it over the years so many times. And it's now I'm sure it gets shown on TV sometimes as well. Mm -hmm. And I think anything to do with the Spice Girls stands the test of time because it's that nostalgia thing, isn't it? I went to see them, you know, when they did the tour. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God, I was a kid again. It was. And do you know what was brilliant was, like, everybody from that era, like, there were, like, 40-year-old women there fully dressed up as the Spice Girls. And I was like... (laughs) But what opportunity in their life are they going to get to do this, apart from when the Spice, or if they're your girlfriend and they go, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So when you went to watch the Spice Girls then, Emma, and then you were a kid again, did you have to watch Spice World so you become a woman again? Okay, <laughs> woman again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a never-ending cycle. It's it's the fountain of youth. Yeah, it's, like, it's it. I really want to see the Spice Girls, but I wouldn't come out and be a kid again, so I watched the do. It's a dilemma. 